Hi, I'm Dong Xiong. Welcome to Digging to China, where we explore China in depth to reveal unique perspectives. Over the last week, Deep Seek has taken the global stage by storm, becoming a topic of conversation across various industries. What was once a lesser known name in niche AI circles has now blossomed into an international sensation, capturing the attention of investors, policymakers, and tech enthusiasts. The excitement surrounding DeepSeek has reached levels previously unseen, with some analysts calling it a groundbreaking force in the artificial intelligence AI space. Yet, for those following the development of AI closely, the rise of DeepSeek isn't entirely unexpected. What has been remarkable is the sheer intensity of the media frenzy and the dramatic shift in the way people view the company's emergence. For months, DeepSeek has been steadily advancing AI technology, but it remained relatively unnoticed by the broader public. Those familiar with the company's work understood its massive potential, but only recently has the media hype ignited, sparking waves of speculation, analysis, and at times misinformation. The speed with which public perception has shifted is striking. Just a month ago, some experts were suggesting that the breakthroughs in AI efficiency might lessen the demand for computational power, potentially affecting companies like NVIDIA. Fast forward to today and the narratives has shifted, with claims that the rapid pace of algorithmic development might render investments in AI hardware obsolete. This kind of binary thinking overlooks the many complexities of AI development and the wide-ranging impact that companies like DeepSeek will have on the future of the AI industry. To understand DeepSeek's swift rise, we need to take a closer look at its origins and its ties to High Flyer, a Chinese hedge fund known for its early adoption of AI-driven trading strategies. Long before many of its competitors recognized AI's potential, High Flyer saw AI's transformative power and understood that the scaling computational resources would be essential to fully unlocking AI's capabilities. This forward-thinking approach led the hedge fund to heavily invest in GPU infrastructure, establishing itself as a leader in AI-enhanced financial strategies. By 2021, High Flyer had built up a large stockpile of a 100 GPUs, purchasing over 10,000 units before the US imposed export restrictions on advanced chips to China. This strategic investment proves to be a major competitive advantage. However, Highfly's ambitions weren't limited to just financial markets. In May 2023, recognizing AI's broader potential, Highflyer decided to spin off DeepSeek into an independent company, focusing solely on AI research and development. At first, DeepSeek's creation attracted little outside attention. The AI industry was still uncertain about commercialization and with no clear business model in place. Securing funding was challenging. As a result, Highflyer chose to fully fund the DeepSeek on its own, giving the company the financial support and the computational resources needed to pursue groundbreaking AI research without the constraints often associated with the external investors. This strategy allowed the DeepSeek to evolve from a seemingly insignificant side project to one of the world's most formidable AI labs. Equipped with the talent and the resources to compete on a global scale. A key factor in DeepSeek's success is its expensive GPU infrastructure. Recent reports have claimed that DeepSeek owns around 50,000 H100 GPUs, but this requires clarification. While DeepSeek's GPU holdings are indeed impressive, 
the number includes different models of NVIDIA's Hopper architecture, such as the H800 and H20, which was specifically developed for the Chinese market due to US export restrictions. Estimates suggest that DeepSeek has around 50,000 GPUs based on NVIDIA's Hopper architecture, including approximately 10,000 H800 and 10,000 H100. The company has also placed substantial orders for H20 GPUs, further strengthening its computational power. It's important to know that DeepSeek isn't the only Chinese company investing heavily in AI hardware. Over the past nine months, NVIDIA has shipped over 1 million AI GPUs to China, with DeepSeek securing a large portion of these shipments, alongside AI startups, research institutions, and hedge funds. These GPUs are used for various applications, including training AI models, inference, algorithmic trading, and other AI research. DeepSeek's ability to tap into such vast computational resources has allowed the company to experiment with large-scale models and fine-tune AI architectures in ways few companies can afford. This access to massive compu uh, computing power gives DeepSeek a significant edge in the global AI race, particularly when it comes to training models that require extensive data and processing. Much of the recent uh, uh, commentary surrounding DeepSeek has focused on the company's alleged cost efficiency, with some reports claiming that it trained its latest AI model DeepSeek V3 for just $6 million. While this figure has drawn attention, it misrepresents the full costs of AI development. Training an advanced AI model involves much more than just the GPU expenses. The $6 million figure mentioned in some reports only refers to the direct GPU costs for pre-training DeepSeq v3. However, the total cost of AI research involves numerous other elements such as data acquisition, data cleaning, model, exper model experimentation, software optimization, and ongoing infrastructure maintenance. Additionally, long-term operational costs, personnel salaries, and the expense of refining AI architectures over time all contribute to the overall investments. For context, training models like uh, Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Sonnet required tens of millions of dollars, yet Anthropic raised billions in funding to support its long-term vision for AI development. DeepSeek has similarly invested over $1.3 billion in AI research and infrastructure, with operational costs alone estimated at $715 million. Another major factor behind DeepSeek's rise is its ability to attract top-tier talent. Unlike many Western AI labs, which often prioritize formal credentials and corporate experience, DeepSeek focuses more on raw talent and intellectual curiosity. The company has made a concerted effort to recruit from China's top universities, such as Peking University and Zhejiang University, and has established itself as one of the most attractive employers in the AI field. Reports suggest that DeepSeek offers highly competitive compensation packages, with some of its top recruits earning salaries of $1.3 million per year, far exceeding the standard pay in China's AI industry. In addition to offering attractive salaries, DeepSeek provides its researchers with unparalleled access to GPUs, enabling them to pursue cutting-edge AI research. This commitment to supporting its talent has fostered an environment of innovation within the company. DeepSeek's organizational structure also plays a role in its ability to attract talent. Rather than following a rigid corporate hierarchy, DeepSeek promotes a more flexible, dynamic environment where researchers are encouraged to explore multiple areas of AI research. This approach has allowed the company to innovate quickly, implementing new ideas and novel approaches to AI development without the bureaucratic delays often found in traditional corporate settings. 
DeepSeek's rise has sparked intense debate about its long-term impact on the AI industry. Some experts argue that the company's advances in algorithmic efficiency could reduce the need for high-end AI hardware, potentially leading to an oversupply of GPUs. On the other hand, some believe that DeepSeek's success will only spur further investments in AI infrastructure, solidifying the need for large-scale computing power. One key area to watch in the coming years will be how AI cost structures evolve. Historically, AI advancements have led to significant reductions in the computational power required to achieve the same performance. For example, the cost of achieving GPT-3 level capabilities has decreased by a factor of 1200 since its release. As AI labs continue refining architectures and improving inference efficiency, we may see similar trends that will lower the cost of training advanced models. However, these efficiency gains are unlikely to reduce demand for AI hardware. As AI models continue growing in sophistication, new use cases will emerge, driving even greater demand for computational resources. DeepSeek's rapid ascent highlights this trend, signaling that the demand for AI hardware is far from waning. In fact, the company's success reinforces the importance of continued investment in both algorithms and the computing power. As DeepSea continues to push the boundaries of AI research, its influence on the global AI landscape is only set to increase. Whether it becomes the dominant player in the field or faces challenges due to regulatory and geopolitical factors, Deep Seek's rise marks the beginning of a new era in AI. Its story, still unfolding, is sure to shape the industry for years to come. Being a Chinese company, DeepSeek must perform self-censorship to comply with Beijing's strict regulations on information control. This becomes evident when asking the chatbot about a famous photograph of a man holding two shopping bags and standing in front of tanks. Initially, DeepSeek begins generating a response, acknowledging the image as the well-known tank man photograph taken on June 5th, 1989 during the Tiananmen. Before it can complete this phrase, Tiananmen Square, the chatbot abruptly deletes its response and replaces it with, sorry, that's beyond my current scope. Let's talk about something else. There's no way around it. DeepSeek enforces censorship not just on the topic, but also on any discussion of Taiwan, Tibet, criticism of Xi Jinping, or other politically sensitive subjects deemed off-limits by Beijing. Sorry, I'm not sure how to approach this type of question yet. It replies when pressed. Let's chat about math, coding, and the logic problems instead. Now let's give AI the last word. Let us ask ChatGPT, what do you think of DeepSeek? Now tell me what you really think about a DeepSeek V3. DeepSeek V3 is a notable development in China's AI landscape, but there are a few things to consider beyond its benchmark performance. On paper, its 671 billion parameter model and low training costs make it an impressive engineering feat. The claim that it outperforms GPT-4.0 and Claude 3.5 in specific coding tasks is interesting, but benchmarks don't always translate to real-world superiority. The biggest question is its practical application. While open sourcing is a strong move, the licensing restrictions, e.g. no military use, may limit its adoption in certain industries. Another concern is China's regulatory environment. If the government controls how the model is used, its potential could be constrained. Also, large Chinese models have historically struggled with multilingual capabilities and complex reasoning in open-ended scenarios, areas where OpenAI and Anthropic still lead. Overall, DeepSeek V3 looks like a strong domestic competitor, but it's unclear if it can truly rival top Western models in versatility and global usability. All right, I have nothing to add. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like it, drop a comment below, and hit the subscribe button right here. 
It really helps YouTube suggest my video to others. I'll be back with more content soon. Until then, be well.